check the description box below and don't forget to hit that like button. Hello guys and goddesses, Coco here with your Coco from the Dark podcast where we connect with the most high, our emotions, and the innermost parts of ourselves that tries to elude us at every turn. This is a space of not only connecting and healing, but also to give you the confirmations and the answers that you've been seeking. So thank you so much for being here with me and thank you for being willing to connect with me. Namaste. So the energy that I'm picking up on right now feels like needing to connect with the self. Feels like needing to get somewhere to meditate, to be in silence. I know um, meditation isn't always about silence, but this energy right here feels like it needs to be in silence. I feel like you have a lot of noise going on around you on a day-to-day -day basis. And you don't take out enough time to be in silence, to be with the self. You don't have um, enough alone time or me time. And, you know, of course, it's understandable when you have responsibilities, when you're um, on, I'm hearing on the fast track to something or to somewhere, or you just have people to take care of or things to take care of. But it's very important to take time for yourself. It's very important to carve time out of your day, not just the week, but out of your day, every single day, carve time out for yourself. And I used to always say whether it's, even if it's just five minutes, but five minutes is where you start. You start at giving yourself five minutes out of a busy schedule. And then you do things to try to lengthen that time, you know, try to make that time um, more, more. <laughs> so let's see what other messages. The color blue, blue and green are significant. You know that blue is connected to our um, th throat chakra. And green is connected to our heart chakra, our heart space. I'm also picking up on yellow, which is the solar plexus. And I feel as though these chakras need alignment. They need some attention at this moment. <clears throat> Focus on those colors. Like wear those colors, eat those colors, view those colors. Like right now, me personally, I'm by a lake and the water looks blue. I see trees and scenery, it's green, the sky is blue. And then the sun, the sun is shining through the clouds. It's been cloudy, but like right now, the sun is shining through. So that's my blue, green, and yellow. Okay, so I feel as though that there needs to be some sort of inner focus because there's a lot of contradictory energy around you. There's a lot of, what's the word? Um, it's a word, challenging spirits around you. I don't know if these are people or if these are entities or if it's both, but there has been this energy prominent around the collective lately. I feel as though it's because there's this energy about you that has grown, that is growing and you're growing. I'm hearing at a super speed and I'm, I'm hearing something about a molecular level. And I feel like even if you don't see something about yourself, there are people and energies around you that do. Very much so. 
it's like people recognize you before you do and that's only because you don't take time for yourself so that's why the message is coming out to to meditate connect take time for you be in silence and when you meditate it's okay that your thoughts flow because you know that's what your mind does your mind is going to wander because that's its job its job is to create thoughts and to create solutions and you know all of that good stuff but when you're in meditation the practice of meditation is to learn how to let the thoughts flow without thinking on them if you if that makes any sense to you right now but just let those thoughts flow be aware of them and then let them pass by eventually you'll get to a space where you're not thinking about what you're supposed to be doing or what you're going to do. Like you're just being in the present moment. That's what meditation is, is being present, being present, being present with the self. I'm seeing that needle. It's like a, like the little, the, the curved needle. I don't know much about needlework. So I know how to do a little some some I can patch up things, but I don't know like what the different needles are called. But there's this th this needle that has the curve in it that I'm I'm seeing that. So I don't know if someone likes to knit or sew, or if I'm picking up on a message that something is being sewn up, like some sort of wound is being healed, is being tended to, so that it can heal. Yeah, because that's the need. I think that's the needle that they use to stitch people up, like that needle with the curve. If I'm not mistaken, I mean, I don't seen enough John Wick movies. I feel, like, I feel like it's the one, the the one with the curve is the one where they stitch you up. But you know, don't quote me. It is a, it is a movie, so. But I'm seeing that. I'm also seeing kites. And when I think of the kites, it's making me think of like the inner child or needing to connect to the inner child. I'm even seeing a grown up that has children have take some time out with themselves and fly the kite alone, like with no kids or anything. Just, you know, letting that be their meditation. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, we, we always as parents include our children in every aspect of our lives our lives you know to make sure that they are good but sometimes we forget that we are parents yes but we're still a person like if i speak for me like yes i'm a mom but i'm also a woman i'm also a person i'm also an individual so sometimes i can take 5 10 15 20 30 minutes out of a day or out of you know how, however much i can spare my kids are older, so I have a little a, a little more time to myself. But I can carve that time out and just be Coco. I don't have to be mom. I don't have to be daughter. I don't have to be sister. I don't have to be, you know, Coco, the enchantress. I can just be Coco myself. And I feel as though that this is a time for you to connect with yourself in that way. I don't know. I'm picking up on like nicknames or something because Coco came to me as, you know, like my uh, Enchantress of Romance persona. But my real nickname, you know, if you if, if we are close, you call me Nikki because, my you know, I'm Nicole. That's where Coco came from. And of course, that's where Nikki comes from. But I'm picking up on nicknames. Like, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe you have nicknames. You go by different nicknames with different people. I even just heard maybe you've always wanted a nickname. Rest and re See, I feel like receptive mode. Yellow butterflies may be significant. And it's funny that I just saw a yellow butterfly. I've been seeing yellow butterflies very consistently over the past few weeks. But my best friend just brought up that she has been seeing yellow butterflies lately. 
and now I just see another one. When I haven't, I haven't seen one in a few days. Um, I think it was like it's been raining, and you know the weather's been a little. I don't know, but I haven't seen any butterflies in the last few days. But I'm, I just saw a yellow butterfly, and let me. Do I have it? No, I don't have it. But I'm not gonna look it up on my phone. Hold on, y'all. So yeller, yeller. <laughs> oh yeller, maybe I don't know. That might be significant to someone or dogs in general. Maybe you have recently lost a, a dog uh, or an animal. Um, I send you love for that because losing an animal that you have grown attached to, where it's not you don't think of it as an animal, you think of it as a a family member. I know how hard it can be, so. I send you so much love, light, and healing. But it says yellow butterflies signify birth and renewal, representing the idea that even in the darkest of times, there is always the potential for growth and transformation. Yellow butterflies in particular are believed to bring a sense of joy, happiness, and positivity into one's life. So I feel as though there may be like some sort of energy around you that for some i feel like you don't know where it's coming from but for others you know exactly where it's coming from and i'm getting that message that it's some of you you are doing this to yourself it's some sort of self-sabotage some sort of inter internal conflict that you're dealing with or a need to connect with your inner child and for others of course that message that we've been getting about people who are basically sending you negative energy but there's this need to like remember that trouble doesn't last always clouds have to move out of the way sometimes not sometimes eventually they have to move out of the way eventually and let the sun shine like it's been cloudy all day and now the sun is like breaking through every so often i know I, i'm sure you can see it like if you look at the screen like i don't know because you know i'm still gonna put my overlays on but you can see my shadow that's the sun in the shadow and it's like even in the midst of darkness even in the midst of storms there is some sort of light or some sort of calm that comes to you to give you hope i've been hearing this message lately of the eye of the storm i've been hearing this message of either you being in the eye of the storm or you being the eye of the storm and it's like so this message is coming up for some of you you are in the eye of a storm like you are in this space where things are calm but around you there is chaos and for others of you you are the calmness for people in your life like people look to you for comfort and when you leave their life or when they leave yours there are some things that i'm picturing like a, t a tornado going around right and it's picking up all this trash and everything but you are in the inside you are the inside you are the eye of the storm the storm doesn't touch you it touches the things around you the t it touches the things around you that you don't put your focus on so when you have these people in your life that um don't recognize you for the energy that you bring they don't appreciate you they take you for granted and then y'all separate things start to like finally fall like the once that eye of the storm leaves there's more storm and it's like the where they were once being protected they were in the eye of the storm because they were there with you it's like things start to crash around them and a lot of people like to think that, especially if they know that you're into like spirituality or they know that you're into like magic, they like to think that you have done things or you have, you know, wished things on them. But really it's just their karma that you have been holding back. It's been, it's their karma that's hitting them. And I feel as though that is a message for you that when you connect when you disconnect from certain people during this time 
especially the ones well it's you're only going to be disconnected from people that you're not meant to be in connection with so when you disconnect from some of these people there are going to be some things that happen for them in their life that are going to be detrimental for teaching them that they should have treated you better and that that, that they better treat others after you better than they treated you it's like there's going to be this learning curve for them there's going to be this learning moment this teaching moment for them and it's going to be hard it's going to be like a, a rough patch for them and for you the message is don't go back don't step in don't interfere with their karma you may send them love and light you may send them um, healing you may ask the most high to give them grace and mercy but do not interfere with their karma you know you got this big heart you care about people on a very deep level and you want to you want to make sure everybody's good but people have to go through their own lessons you had to go through your lessons you, you had to go through things to get you to where you are now so allow others to have that same grace because you can't tell me that the journey wasn't worth it like yeah it was hard but wasn't it worth it when you look at where you are now as opposed to where you were wasn't it worth it and if you feel like no it wasn't worth it then why what was so bad no not what was so bad what's so bad about now or maybe you are currently in this space of healing and growing and you just need more time before you can see that light at the end of the tunnel. But I just feel this energy of you need to rest. You need to connect with yourself. I feel like you need to be more in touch with all of the accomplishments that you have had, whether they uh, have been big accomplishments or small, whether they've been internal or external. But connect with the things that you have succeeded in, all of your victories, whether they be big or small. And celebrate yourself. Yeah, I'm, I'm really picking up on the energy of detachment. There are some people you're about to detach from or you have recently detached from. And maybe it's causing you to be in this moment of silence for yourself. I keep hearing radio silence. I've been picking up on radio silence for a few days now. Probably about a week. Three to one may be significant. But I just... I just feel like I need to encourage you, number one, to keep going. Number two, to drink your water and connect with your emotions. And number three, celebrate yourself. Love on yourself. Connect with yourself. So let me see. I'm going to pull some love messages because I don't feel any more um, messages about about those i don't feel any more downloads about those messages that's what i mean to say i hear happy feelings in the air touching people everywhere Oh, this one really coming through too. Somebody, I feel I, what I'm picking up on is somebody like outside, chilling with the music playing, letting the wind blow. If it's really sunny, there's like some sort of umbrella or some sort of you know something that that's covering them, a tree or something, and just this moment of peace and joy. Even if you haven't had peace or joy your whole day or your whole week or your whole month or even the whole year i feel someone coming into a space where they're just connecting with music connecting with outside with nature connecting with their self and just being in the moment i got myself to remind me of love my mind and my heart. Mm. <laughs> yes. I'm hearing something about like some sort of outside gathering. Ooh, I just, ooh, y'all. This is Hawk. Just came out of nowhere. Big and beautiful. 
So hawks may be significant or birds in general, but especially hawks. Look up the spiritual meaning. But let's get to these love messages. Because now I just, I, I, it's like I wanted to get your message out. I was enjoying the scenery, enjoying the lake. Because the lake is just always so calming and beautiful for me. And then I was like, okay, well, let me get my message out for the collective. Let me get this message that the Most High wants me to deliver. And now as I'm delivering, like now I'm ready to get back to connecting to the lake myself. So, yeah, someone's in that space as well. So you got somebody in your energy. They're already in your energy. I don't know if they're in your presence, but they're in your energy. And they want to speak to you. They want to talk to you about some things. Can I talk to you? I really want to meet you. Oh, they said meet you. So they're not in your presence yet. Somebody maybe sees you in passing or you see someone in passing or maybe on social media. Someone wants to get to know you better. Discuss some things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I heard be fruitful and multiply but then I also heard be truthful and don't lie so I don't know what that energy is I mean I know what it is but I don't know what it is <laughs> also spirit babies are very significant in this energy for some of you this could be um, children that you have lost um, for others of you, this is children that are yet to come into your 3D, you know, that are going to be birthed by you or conceived by you. And they are working behind the scenes to help you in this connection to come about. I feel as though one energy is like standoffish or or unawares and there's another energy that is like totally enamored totally enamored and i see that eventually there's going to be some sort of divine intervention divine timing some sort of divine play that comes into balance and allows for this connection to become an equal an equal energy. I feel like things are going to move quickly. And they're going to be lasting. Y'all, it's a lot of spirit babies. Most definitely. A lot of spirit babies in the in the energy of the collective. So these could, I'm actually picking up that these could be the cherubims, you know, the like Cupid as well. Like the, the angels of love. That, that's what, I, that's the energy I'm picking up. I don't know if I'm correct. I just, that's the energy that I'm picking up that these angels of love are going around like, like, like the Sandman sprinkles the, the sleep sand, the, the love angels are sprinkling the love saying the love dust I'm hearing courtship I most definitely see the masculine courting the female I'm hearing she's very sassy <laughs> Ooh. So, yeah, that is your message. Those are your messages. I pray that they found you in divine timing. Um, I send you all so much love, light, and healing. This is episode 21 of Coco from the Dark. Hey, y'all, I'm so excited. Every time I think about it, every time the numbers go up, I get so excited. So, yeah, let me go ahead and hype myself up. I was just talking to my best friend and telling her how I don't really advertise myself. I don't advertise myself because I'm kind of shell shocked from when I would like share things with my, my loved ones and I wouldn't get anything out of them. Like it would be like, you know, like 
an unrequited type of energy. Like I'm, I'm excited, and they're like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> like I was speaking to one of my relatives, and I was like, "Oh, look, I, I didn't tell you, I got a YouTube, and you know, I'm, I, you know, I have a podcast and things." And you know what they say? They're like, "Ah, oh, I hope you're getting paid for it." I'm like. <laughs> I don't do it for the money. I mean, the money would be def def definitely nice, but that's not why I do it. But, you know, you, people aren't going to hype you up all the time the way that you want them to. So my advertisement for myself, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to get better and better at it because I haven't done it. So I'm like... <sighs> Why am I? I don't know why I feel nervous about it. But anyway, so I have my workbook journal. It is called High Fucking Drake, right? I know you've been seeing it in the overlays on my podcast lately. Um, it's a journal that I created with affirmations on. It's like one affirmation on each page. And you can either use that affirmation or you can come up with your own affirmations. But the, the, the work is to do affirmations, is to speak life into yourself, you know, to help yourself to heal and grow and feel good about yourself and be confident, right? But also, oh yeah, it's on Amazon. The links are in my description box and all of that good stuff. But also, um, I created some apparel on Redbubble where... You can go buy the shirts and the coffee mugs and the blankets and the clocks and everything with things that I created with, you know, my own good energy. <laughs> so I have high, high fucking drape. I have that line. I also have the Bay Collection where there are different um, acronyms for for Bay, different meanings for it. B A E. You know, like I and I did that because. When that word came out, bae, I did not like that word as far as someone calling me that. Don't call me your bae. I don't like that. <laughs> I feel like, uh, I don't know, I, some kind of way it got spoiled for me before it got good. And I just never liked it. So I thought that I would rebrand the word for myself. And I came up with like some little sayings, some little quotes for the acronym BAE. And so that's one of the collections. And then I also have Healing Matters, you know, hashtag Healing Matters, because it most definitely does. If you don't heal, then you have the potential to cause harm in others. But if you heal, you know, heal people, heal people. So that is my little mini advertisement to kind of hype myself up so I can get into the space of like, promoting myself and celebrating me like i always tell y'all celebrate yourself celebrate yourself and i don't i'm gonna be honest i don't celebrate myself at all and i i just feel like it's time for me to start doing so because i i i'm so proud of all of the accomplishments i've made i'm proud of how far i've come like how far i've grown i know you guys have heard me mention that you know in my younger days you know i was a little firecracker you know i probably broke some hearts hurt some feelings burned some bridges i i say it probably but most definitely but you know that's not who i am anymore i've grown so much like so much that i had gotten to a space where i used to judge the old me like girl you why what was you doing <laughs> but now i have grown even more from that and i know that it all got me here to where i am now that's why i can speak from so many different perspectives because i have been in so many different scenarios and so many different situations i've been on the giving side of toxicity and i have most definitely been on the receiving side of it so you know i created the Enchantress of Romance to help people find love again, find love in themselves and find love within other people. Because I hear a lot of people say, you can't trust nobody or ain't no real people no more. That's a lie because that's not true at all. It's just people, people be hurt. Th that's why it's so much that goes on that's negative and toxic because people are hurt and they, they either don't heal or they don't know how to heal. And so 
that's that's where I come in at. That's where me and other light workers come in at to help to assist in our own special and unique ways. So three 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 may be significant, but I just wanna, you know, encourage you all to just keep going to hype yourself up, hype me up, you know, show me a little love, you know, all of that good stuff. Drink your water, connect with your emotions, and thank you for being here with me on this journey, this podcast, and just, you know, namaste to you. Love and light.